The formulation is fairly simple. There's four ingredients. The alcohol, obviously. There's some hydrogen peroxide to make sure that we kill any spores that may result from the processing or from the raw materials that are not sterile. We also have some glycerin, which is used to keep the skin a little bit soft. And then uh, water is the final ingredient. And so we mix those together in a specific sequence and then we are able to transfer that over into the bottling operation. We help make sure that all the raw ingredients we have on hand to, to do the, the mixing that needs to be done. We deliver those to the School of Pharmacy. Um, they work all day to produce the hand sanitizer and we pick it up once a day to bring it back to the hospital um, to be used. Somewhere between 250 and 350 just depending on the day. This formulation works very well. It's based on the World Health Organization studies to evaluate what amount of alcohol is necessary to kill not just bacteria, which is the focus of most commercial products, but also viruses, which are more difficult to kill than, uh, than the bacteria. If it wasn't for this, we really wouldn't have any um, to help protect both our patients and our employees, so this is, this is vitally important that we have this available.